Good morning, my friends. It's Miss Liz. I am here to read a story to you today called How Are You Peeling? Foods with Moods. Um, this week we are talking about all of the different feelings that we can have. And so we'll get to see these um, fruits and these vegetables and these foods making all sorts of faces because of how they're feeling or peeling, as the book says. The authors are Saxton Freeman and Drew Stelfers. And here we go. Let's see what kind of fruits feel a certain way. Look at this picture of all of these foods making such funny faces. You can really tell what they are feeling based on what their faces look like. How are you feeling? This orange looks like he's pretty happy. This orange does not look so happy. He might be mad or frustrated or sad. It's kind of hard to tell in that picture. Oh, are you happy? Sad? Feeling blue? Feeling bad? These fruit, or this pepper and this, I, I think it's a potato. I'm not really sure. Um, they are not looking too happy, are they? They might be feeling frustrated or sad. Can a gentle, smiling friend try to cheer you up again? When you have to wait because someone is late, are you bored, jumpy, worried, grumpy, excited as the minutes passed? Now your friend is here at last. So your friend is here, so now you're happy. But before they got here, you might have been feeling all sorts of things, like excited or sad or mad that they weren't here yet. But then they show up and you're happy. How are you when friends drop by? With someone new, are you a little shy? Look, this is a little cantaloupe turtle. With his friend, he feels very comfortable. His head is out. But with somebody new, his head is a little bit more inside. He doesn't know the person, so he might be feeling a little shy. He may not want to talk. He may want to get used to the, the other person first. Don't belong? Oh, look, he's sad because he's got no friends. But not for long. Now they're all happy. They found a group of friends like we have. Do you feel secure? That means are you feeling comfortable? You like where you are? Or are you not so sure? Are you amused? Confused? Frustrated? Surprised? Try these feelings on for size. So he's amused. He's frustrated, which is another way of saying, um, it's like a mix of being sad and upset and mad. Um, a lot of times people feel frustrated if they've been trying to do something for a long time and it's just not working. Then that's a time that you might feel frustrated. This one is surprised. His face is going, oh. that's the surprise face I make. And... This one might be confused. Usually my confused face is, hmm. That's when I don't know what's going on. I need a little bit more information. How are you feeling? When you're attacked, do you react? And that means if someone is mean to you, how do you react? How 
How do you feel when someone is mean? Timid or bold or in between? So if someone is mean to you, do you get mad right back? And do you yell in their face or say something right to them? Or do you sort of shy away a little and you try and run away? Or are you in between? So he would be bold because he is getting right in there and fighting back. These little guys are a little more timid. They're sort of falling behind and just sort of waiting, trying to stay away. <clears throat> When you're angry, do you pout, whine, scream, shout? Look at all these fruits doing those things. When you're feeling sorry and ashamed or embarrassed to be blamed, So they got in a little bit of trouble, it sounds like. Someone blamed them for doing something that they shouldn't have. So some were feeling sorry and some were embarrassed. Jealous. Look, this is like the mommy tomato and a baby tomato. Mommy is giving the baby tomato hugs and maybe the sister or brother tomato is feeling a little left out. They're feeling jealous that mom is giving the baby some attention and not them. Disappointed too? When you are hurt, who comforts you? Like at the onion comforting the little baby onion. So many smiles. Can you decide who is feeling safe and who is feeling pride? He looks safe, maybe. Like he's feeling safe. Maybe he looks like he's feeling pride. Pride means when you feel really good about something um, that you've done or um, just you're really proud of yourself. You're proud of the hard work you've done. You're proud of something you've, um, you've finished. So this one looks like he's pretty proud. Why are you tired? Need a kiss? Do you know anyone like this? Ms. Liz is probably always the one who feels tired. I have lots of kids in my house, so they keep me awake. Do you let your feelings show? Who do you love? And how do they know? Oh my goodness. So I show people that I love them. Um, by giving them hugs and using kind words with them. And if they're not my family and I can't give them a hug during um, this time, I can use some of the things that we did in our If You Can't Bear Hug, Air Hug book. So I can smile and I can sing a song and I can share a wish with somebody. Um, those are all ways that I can show somebody I love them. What do you think? What are some ways you show somebody you love them? When how you feel is understood, you have a friend and that is good. So when you have a friend, you feel like they really get you. You guys are connected. You like the same things. You know what the other person is feeling, um, what they like, what they don't like. How are you feeling? I'm smiling, so I'm feeling happy because I get to talk to you right now. The end. And then I'll leave you with this one little funny fruit face. He looks maybe a little mischievous, like he might go cause some trouble soon. All right, my friends. Well, I can't wait to see you this week and to talk more about our feelings and how all feelings are okay. Um, and how we can show what we're feeling with our faces, with our words, even with things like how, what we draw. So this week we have some activities, um, with Play-Doh where we can use our Play-Doh to make faces of different feelings. 
So I hope that you are able to do that and then take pictures with me or show me during our sessions. I'll be really excited to see. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.